Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be dealing with some running zombies. They're going to be uh, survivalist difficulty, 200% block damage. The X Factor today, we've got the POI infestation again. We'll get to that in a little bit, though. Currently, I'm just working on some mining. We need a lot more stone. We're also going to need more iron to make steel, forged iron, and the like. And once we get the resources that we need, we're going to hop up, do some construction, get some resources on the craft. And I crafted up a couple of new rifles last night as well. Okay, and that's the end of the rock busters, and I think that'll hold us over for a little while. Let's just scoop up 12,000 iron. That'll be two full stacks. We'll call it even. All right, and speaking of new rifles, probably the last couple of shots with this one. And I just noticed I was working last night before the horde, like as we were waiting for the horde to arrive, I kind of peeled off some pieces of the fire escape, and the zombies did all the rest of it because I think there were chunks of it they were actually kind of like technically connected to the wall over here. So that project is finished. Happy little accident there. All right. And in terms of resource production, let's just go with some concrete mix there. Another 3000 sand and pretty much all the rest of this is just going to go into the forge. All right. There's much more work to be done here. Let's have a look at these new sniper rifles. I, I crafted one of each because they're just a level one quality one. So they didn't require a whole lot in terms of resources. But I am curious to see, first of all, what it looks like like it's looking good it's taken 762 so grab a handful of that okay it's a bolt action it looks like nice iron sight oh that is great and it's 10 rounds per magazine question is do i have any decent mods for it well how many can it take first of all probably oh just one are you kidding me ah okay well in that case uh 4x scope i guess there we go all right I can roll with that for a little bit. This will be our, like, um, long-range rifle. And I think the other one, it looks more like a DMR, so it uh, probably has higher magazine capacity, maybe a little bit less damage. Probably better for that close quarters kind of stuff, kind of like this gun is. Okay, well, we have some repair work to do here. I, I was thinking about it, and uh, what I think we could do is just do this because i was gonna like fill this in with the wedge 60 but then i can't really see what's going on downstairs and i do whoops <laughs> just get stuck to the ladder real quick there we go uh, i do kind of want to be able to see what's going on down there and this should give me an avenue with which to toss pipe bombs down there let's just see if that works it works reasonably well and um at some point i think like the return fire from cops is going to be a problem so we might have to fill that in someday but not quite there yet. I can't get back there from here. Scoop these back up. And then um, what I really want to do is um, is like extend out the pit. The thing is, I just I don't think I'm quite ready to do that yet because I don't know what I'm going to put in the pit yet. Right. Because you want to have a pit that kind of contains the zombies when they're angry. But you want to be able to kind of deal some damage to them while they're down there. And um, we're just not quite there yet. <laughs> we don't even have the blade traps in. Uh, and um, that reminds me. I don't think that zombies like pathing over these as evidenced by them like going through the wall it's it's really a convoluted way for them to get out they, they didn't want to go this way here last night they wanted to like rip their way through the wall to get out to this side so they could run back around they even they made another hole right here so and i think that was pretty much all to do with the um the shutter doors that were there so we'll get something else there something simple uh probably the railing block or yeah probably the railing block i think the zombies will walk on this just fine and this should give us a way to replace and repair the traps if needed but also allow the zombies to path over without any problem we'll go to cobblestone for now give it a try tonight that's the good thing about the hordes every night is that you can make small changes and observe their impact immediately. I do like that. All right, I've got multiple projects going on at once. Let's finish finish off the walkways here. I've got the automated vault doors now. We'll get rid of those wooden doors once and for all, and we will proceed with this plan here for tonight. Also, I yeah, I want to rip off the the ladders here. My conclusion on those ladder pieces is that they're. Um, they're okay, but I think they're overrated. Overrated. So instead, I'm just going to go with these uh, round plate counter shapes and just double them up front and back. And uh, again, we'll just see how this performs tonight and we'll make adjustments from there if necessary. And then look what else the zombies were doing. At one point, I upgraded these to steal this front plate here. And that made the zombies decide that it was going to be easier for them to go all the way through the wall, all the way around. And part of that is because a lot of this stuff is like flagstone so it's not 
strong enough to like um, dissuade them from trying to go through here. And whoops. Oh yeah, that's all concrete on the bottom there, isn't it? So we'll leave that. This will go up to concrete then. Replace the shapes that they've destroyed. And then we're knocking off two of the pipe pieces on the end and in their place will go the automated vault doors. And just got them all wired up. We should be good to go. First test run here. Oh yes, it works. Oh nice, this is gonna be really good. Be able to regulate traffic with the flip of a switch. And now I think the last thing, oh no. Yes, the one more thing we have to do is come upstairs. Uh, oh, actually a couple more things we have to do. I want to remove this because it's too off here on the left side and unfortunately it is incapable of killing the birds that attack on the right side. See, we have some bird damage over here. And I think the best solution for that is to just simply put it down front and center right here so that it can shoot on both sides and get it hooked back up again. Okay, and then there was another idea that I had because we're about to put some blade traps in. Well. We will have to do that probably before the horde starts, but um, I want to try something to be able to maybe um, repair them on Horde Night. Where is where's the wall downstairs anyway? Is this... Yeah, there's a bit of an overhang. Okay, half block here, full block behind. That means we need... Uh, this would be an open space. This would be... What, sorry, this does not make any, any sense to you, but I think this is the line that I want right here. And then if I put a block, nope, it needs to go one further down, I think. Wait, let's just do it from down here. Yeah, that is perfect. Uh, let's go uh, right there. Catwalk V2 railing double and um, start stringing that across. Okay, is that, if I'm, if I like hopped down through that hole onto the catwalk, I think I'd be able to, to repair blade traps as they're right here. And I'm, I don't think, Th that would um, cause any sort of a danger to me, would it? Whoop. I keep trying to go inside <laughs> through the old fire escape. We gotta go up here. Right, if I jump down here during Horde Night and we had uh, a ladder right here to get ourselves back up, right about there, and maybe put a hatch on top just for the sake of tidiness. Yeah, I think I could reach right through there. Oh, I can. I can actually reach that concrete block that's on the bottom. So that should be good for repairing blade traps in the middle of Horde Night. All right, I'm definitely committing to this. <laughs> Straight up to, I, I go, I'm 50-50. Some things I'm ready to commit to right away. Other things I've got to like have it as cobblestone for a night or two to make my decision. But, um, oh, and now I'm seeing where that might be an issue. I'm going to try it anyway, but if the zombies decide to claw their way up into the wall like that, they could theoretically get onto the catwalk up the ladder and then attack me, which would be terrible. I'm going to give it a shot. So I'll leave that ladder then as um, like a building block for now. That way I can pull it back up if I need to, in case uh, things start getting hairy and I feel like zombies are gonna come up there and attack from below. Okay, last thing before I head out for the day is uh, we just gotta do some upgrades. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing poorly on cobble. We're doing pretty poorly on mix, although I think I've mixed up a whole bunch more there. Okay, that's good, more there. Go ahead and just make me a little bit of cobblestone, maybe. Well, I guess we'll go with 200 of that, and that will hopefully be enough to allow me to do most of the patchwork around the base here. All right, the biggest thing is just coming out here to the fighting area where we had, I think not one, but two cop explosions during the Horde night last night, and that did considerable damage out here. So I'm pretty much gonna go until the resources run out or until everything is at least up to concrete, whichever comes first. Okay, last thing to do before we go, the blade traps ended up coming through for me, so let's um, just make it easier on myself for wiring purposes, and we'll set down a wire relay there. And there we go, all wired in. Now I guess we'll just run all four at the same time with the electric fences and see how it performs. I do need to check the power draw. We should be fine. We're close though. Turn that off for a second. Grab me a couple more engines. That way I know I'm fine. There we go. And then we're gonna have to grab some fuel here. Grab some repair kits because the motorcycle is in rough shape. Repair, repair, and refuel. Store that crap inside for safekeeping. Here's a look at the DMR that we have. Oh, it says Deadeye there on the side. That's pretty cool. Okay, I've got the reflex sight on it. Oh, that is small. I don't know how much I like that. Not very good, like, peripheral vision out of it. I'll give it a try for today, though. What are we doing today, anyway? It's uh, 15.20. We don't have a whole lot of time. 
I do have a mission for the Coleman Theater, but it's on the other side of the friggin' planet right now, so... Probably we should just focus on something that's a little closer by. I have an idea. Let's head up into... The snow area. Is there anything over on this end of the snow biome? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out. I'll meet you up there. Aha, I do see some houses up ahead. Another one over there. Is that like a army outpost or some kind of a junkyard? I can't tell from here. This is the main drag. Oh, great. And then fog rolls in. So <laughs> let's keep it simple. Let's just head into this place over here. We got a massive POI infestation today, so this should be plenty enough challenge for me. What do we got here anyway? Ah, yep. Some kind of an army outpost, I think. Let's just get a, uh... Oh, Fort Quonset. Really? This is a level four? Holy crap. This place looks tiny. There must be a big underground bunker, maybe, around here? Well, let's figure this out. Not doing any... Oh, boy. That's not how you want to start things off. Oh, no! Ah, whoa, landmines! Right, just kite them into the landmines, then. That's a great idea. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know about... Ooh, that sounds cool. I don't know about the spear today, right now, at least. Oh, this is a great gun. I love it. Hello. Look at that. Oh, okay. I see a whole bunch more over here. Let's try the other gun. Um, oh, let's start off with the rad, then. Oh, one-shot kill on a sleeping rad. That's pretty cool. Watch your feet around here. Oh, <laughs> I just blew into a hundred pieces. All right, we also have some exploding barrels there. Let's just make sure we're reloaded to the extent that we can be. Yeah, there's 20 rounds in this one, 10 in this one, but obviously, you know, semi-auto versus bolt action. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, I could see a, a soldier's attack pack kind of pushing through the floor there a little. Oh, the, um, I gotta get a new scope or something for this. I don't know, but I might even just prefer iron sights. Let's just modify that off of there for a second. Um, no, that's still kind of bad, actually. That's, it seems kind of restrictive. You know, realistic, though, I guess. There we go. All right, and a little bit of food there. I am a little bit hungry. Let's try to vary up my diet a little bit. I think I've been eating hobo stew for a week straight. Are you guys hiding anything up here? One backpack with some cloth in it. By the way, we need cloth very bad. Oh! We need a lot of cloth because I've been using all of it to make duct tape and I haven't really been harvesting it for a while. Here, let's just see how that does. That does very well. I think, whoa, I thought it might have killed all of them, but not quite. Full of soldiers and hazmat men. Took them all down though, no problem. A plaster cast, just in case I need it later on. Oh my, <laughs> I did make quite a mess in here, didn't I? Okay, here we go, this is what we want. We want some of these beds. Should be able to get plenty of cloth off of this. 86 right there, that's good for eight duct tape, I think. Couple of more guys back here, we got War Machine. And a host of others, wow. How many of you guys could even fit in that little bathroom back there? I can't tell which one's the living soldier. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, a nice set of steel boots there. I will slap those on right now. There we go, little armor improvement for us, and we're starting to get a little roughed up. Go ahead and take a bandage. Oh, okay, well, a whole bunch of sleepers around here. Oh, there's a rad biker. Let's see how much damage you can do to him with a sneak attack. Pretty good, I guess. Not enough for a kill, but took him down in a couple extra hits. Whoa, suddenly getting heckin' ambushed here. And, um, got stunned a little. I'm just panic firing now. I don't even know who I'm hitting. I need that bandage again. Okay, we're, we're really cold out here. I don't think that's affecting us too much. We are uh, probably burning through our food a little bit faster, but it's not too big of a deal. Let's try to ease things up on the pipe bombs because I only brought a limited amount with me. See what we can do with that. <laughs> Blow some legs off. That'll do. Oh, and just bottleneck him there if you could. Here we go. Oh, that didn't last long. Yeah. Working with 200% block damage. Whoop. They're crawling up on me. This gun is a game changer. It packs a punch, too. Love it. That's awesome. That gives us a way to start burning through some of the 7.62 we've accumulated. I've gone through a full stack almost already today. Got one more gurgler in here. Oh, there he is. No arms, no legs. He's got a very strong head though. There we go. Oh, look at the bloody mess in here. Are you still alive? No, he's dead. 
Oh, a whole stack of uh, 762 there. That tops him back off. And a little bit of cloth to harvest up here. And we have two more off the couch. The couches don't provide as much as you would think. Is this cloth here? It is. I mean, it's quite a chore to go through that whole thing there. I wonder if I could go. Use this to my advantage. Yeah, there we go. Get some kills now. Oh, they are waking up though. That's unfortunate. They're all waking up now. They are not moving in my direction though. It seems like most of them just were hanging out there. Oh, this is good too. How do you like that? Here, come on up here. Line you right up. And then, whoop, I fell down. Let me go over to the semi-auto. I wonder if I can get the full auto trigger group mod for this. We did manage to uh, have one more sleeper here. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah, I guess a little bit of cloth here. I mean, I don't know. I'll get my cloth somewhere else, I think. What about in here? Yep, got another group in here. Let's just seal them up. <laughs> Somebody died. Try to go back to the spear a little bit, just in case we get, you know, a wandering horde or something. I want to retain some ammunition. There should be a good amount of ammunition here somewhere. Where is the armory? Oh, and we also have landmines outside to warn us if a horde stops by. But I don't really know where I'm supposed to go now. Oh, is it... Is it this? How do I open that? Oh my goodness. I'm on a rampage. That makes me look forward a lot to what we're going to get in the future when I get like a level 5. We are going to be very powerful with the rifles. Whoops. Crawler. Okay, uh, last thing is this place, but... Um, I don't know how to get in there. Uh, we might just have to go in the old-fashioned way, I guess. There we go, that was pretty easy. Okay, what are we getting into downstairs, though? Oh, another vault door, which is probably also locked. It is. Shoot. Ah, oh, 15k? Well, let's try to go in through the side, I guess. Oh my goodness! Wow! Okay, and all the loot's back there, too. Right, okay, so, um... Oh, I don't even know what to do. There's mutated zombies back there as well. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. We can't fight them down here, though. We gotta bring them upstairs somehow. I think, I think that's how right there. That should wake them all up. Yeah? You guys awake? Oh, 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 they're going somewhere else. That's not good. They're gonna cut me off. Is there another entrance maybe that I didn't even know about? I'm gonna hide over here by the motorcycle. Here they are. Okay, they're coming out the proper way now. Um, okay. I can't really run right now. I gotta get my urban combat bonus in. Armor doesn't slow me down in combat, right? And then we're gonna start kiting them through into the landmines outside if we can. Here we go. That's one. Whoop! I got flanked. The soldiers, they're retaining their tactical training. Here we go. Got a long chain of them. <laughs> Just pull them into the landmines, best we can at least. There we go. Nice! It's working. I could just dig this guy a hole. He's somehow walking with no arms or legs. Okay, so far so good. I'm not sure. I I felt like there were more soldiers. Maybe I've just kind of strung them all out. They're all over the place now. That's probably the case. There we go. Got a blue loot bag off that guy with a really nice ratchet. It should be a huge upgrade. I think I was sporting, uh, I don't know. Oh, level four. Level four to level six. That's not too bad. Where's the rest of you, though? Okay, here's that mutated zombie. Uh, right. I've got a trick to use on you. And there it is. That didn't really work. Close enough, I guess. Ow. There, he's down. He's down. Oh my, that made a huge mess over here. And uh, let's just patch up here. It's getting late. I don't even know if we could... Yeah, we should... Oh, this is where they were coming from. Oh, they went all the way around this way. I think we're done, I guess. That's it. Good, let's loot up very quickly then. Take an eye candy. Oh, look at the charge of ammo in there. Mostly 5.56 though. Oh, nice stun baton there. Here we go, main chest. Okay, no weapons, diamonds. Okay, really nothing there. Sewing kits of all things, don't need that. All right, well, that seems to be just about it. That's the key to the door there. Yeah, I, I missed, I, oh, that was kind of blocked off. I was gonna say I missed it entirely, but 
it was a little bit hidden there. Makes me feel a bit better about myself. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. All clear. Super infestation has been destroyed. Let's head home. And home sweet home. Whoops, I left all the traps on, so we probably just burned half the fuel in the generator. Should double check that before I get carried away. Nope, I think we're good. Uh, how, how does the system work though? That should be, okay, so that switch now is for the electric fences. That one is for the blade traps. Okay, I got a quick project we can work on for tonight. We did purchase an SMG turret from somebody. I think it was Trader Hugh a couple of days ago. I'm just gonna put that, oh, it's a little bit vulnerable there, but I don't think zombies will try to break it. I guess we'll find out. If they do, it'll just be like $6,000 down the drain. But we've got to start trying to burn through the nine mil because we just have so much of it. And I will connect that off of the same switch the blade traps go to, I suppose. Pack that up, lock ammo, and that should be targeting zombies that are just stuck and thrashing around in the pit there a little bit. Okay, so we've got a couple of things we're trying out tonight. We've got the catwalk so that we can come down here and repair. Oh, we could even come down here and reload the SMG turret. This is going to be actually a really good utility for us. Anyway, it is time to get ready. Make sure we have all the guns and stuff that we need. I don't think I'm going to use... Well, look how much 556 we have. Uh, we probably should try to burn through some of that. I think the best way to go about that uh, tonight, we can just try it out, I guess, is using the car 15. And I'll just bring with me basically like a whole row of ammo. <laughs> we'll try to burn through that much at least. And the 44 Magnum, we have a ton of that as well. That might be best to just go to the trader and sell all of that. You know what this would pair well with is some recog. Make sure I get the repair kits. And give me just slightly better light down here if you would. All right, flip these on. Lock and load because the horde is almost upon us. All right, the zombies have arrived and just waiting for them to kind of be here in full force before we proceed with the whole recog learn an elixir thing that we're going to do tonight. The situation downstairs looking pretty good. That SMG turret's actually getting some good work in. The situation upstairs is that uh, some zombies have decided that they want to do the whole let's go around the whole wall thing, which I despise. That's very dangerous for us. I'm not sure why they keep doing it. Okay, here we go. It is time. We're going to do nerdy glasses on because I'll be using the assault rifle and not an actual rifle or the spear for a second. We'll go recog and learn an elixir. And I'm going to use this thing until I run out of repair kits. Okay, we've just passed over midnight. We are into the second wave, and yes, the cops are trying to spin up toward me, which is just slightly concerning. The concrete should hold out for a little while, but it ain't gonna last forever. Okay, I think I'm... Yeah, we just had an explosion downstairs, too. I'm gonna proceed with another learn and elixir. I've leveled up once so far. I had three skill points to spend initially. I now have four. And um, let's just go with the spear for a little while. We'll go back over to the shades so that I can get my perception and spear skill up. And we'll just do this for a while. And this is working great. I'll, although I can't hear the blade traps anymore. Let's do the experiment where we go down here and we see if we can repair them. Okay, that's one, two, get them spinning again. How about that SMG turret? How's that doing? I... Come on, come on, come on. I can't reach it. Give me that, give me that. I had it before, why can't, there we go. I'll need to get some more ammo for it if we want to turn that back on. Just get those repaired up for now. Oh, that worked so good. Okay, so if I just uh, make my way over here, weapons and ammo, how are we doing on nine mil? I think we could afford, let's just fill it back up again. We'll fill it back up again and every night that we feel like we need a little bit of help, you know, things are feeling a little challenging. We'll just pack whatever we have in here for nine mil. Oh, this one is tricky to get to, though. Come on. Whoa. Oh, I'm getting spit on from over here. Okay, so we've got to try and limit the amount of time we spend here for sure. Here, pack that in. Lock ammo and head back upstairs. Whoop, <laughs> cops are blowing up down there already. All right. 
We're back in position here. They do kind of want to claw around through the wall, as they've done multiple times. However, things seem to be going okay, and then occasionally just kind of squeak a pipe bomb down there for whoever's sitting down there. I do kind of miss those days when all the dogs would cluster up down there and we would just blow them all up with a couple pipe bombs. I haven't seen a dog yet in this horde, so maybe that's, maybe we're just kind of beyond that stage or maybe this is just not a wave where we're going to see him. As I'm doing this though, I do kind of want to check and see how much damage are we doing with this one? 80.1 versus 124 with this one. So let's just see how this would feel here. It's got a great fire rate. And if we can get some armor piercing ammo for this, it would be even better. Speaking of that, can I make some? 7.62 AP, how much can I make? 300, start working on it. Yeah, the whole blade trap, turret, <laughs> electric fence combination we have downstairs, man, that is, and my XP is just rolling in right now, 10,000. Oop, I did just get spit on though. Yep, I guess that's the consequence of removing those scaffolding ladders there. Uh, kind of makes me a little bit worried about my all my stuff that's back there. If they miss me and it just goes on past. Ah, well, it ain't gonna be perfect. I prefer this wider open window situation here uh, versus when we have the scaffolding ladders, but we do have to contend with that now. Great. I guess the scaffolding ladders are doing a little bit more than I thought after all. So at this point, I'd say the base is more or less in its final form right now as long as we're keeping up with the upgrades to concrete and steel and keeping things repaired and such. This is it. We just gotta get that repair block and then we don't really have to worry about the repair part quite as much. Uh, the turret is doing much better upstairs, kind of centered like that. Haven't had any problems with birds, except for that one. And perhaps the greatest improvement since we put the vault doors back there is that the zombies don't stack up up front here quite as much, nearly as much, and they're not forcing their way inside, and they're not, like, all the dead bodies aren't piling up here anymore. They're kind of falling off once they die. They're not squishing through. It's so much better now, so much safer. I've been, I haven't even done really repairs all night long. I've switched sides a couple times, but... Mostly, that, that's just to confirm that everything's working properly. Yeah, this base is like 100% more effective and 100% safer now that we've made those improvements. Okay, I should have a handful of AP762. I just want to test it out and see how it feels here. Let's see, uh, back up a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier to aim. Okay, it basically feels like the spear because you get that target penetration, but probably packs a bigger punch. Yeah, wait for him to get back up here and line back up. Yeah, that was two kills, one shot. Great. Oh, oh, that's great. I love it. I do think they broke a block over here though, so we'll just be a little bit careful here and then I'll probably switch him back over to the middle. <laughs> I can't get over it, man. This is amazing. Yeah, we've lost the traps again for the second time, and I'm not inclined to jump back down there and sink any more resources into it. I think we're going to fend them off just fine. It's seeming like the traps will be more for the more difficult days and, and the kind of regular routine days like this. We probably don't have to worry about them quite so much. Yeah, the XP is just going to roll in once we get the armor-piercing ammunition production going. I'm actually starting to think that the horde is over again. We've killed off the entire wave once more. Has everybody died? Ah, there they are. I got a couple that are just kind of... I don't exactly know what they're doing over there. Here, come on into the blade traps if you'd be so kind. Yeah, they have no problem pathing over the railing. None of the blade traps were lost today. I mean, they were degraded, but I don't think the zombies had reason to um, target them like they had the night before. And this guy's just completely stuck over there. See if I can put him out of his misery. Yeah, that was it. Wow, what a feat, man. Killing off the entire horde. All right, all that's left to do now is loot up. Let's just get the traps turned off because it's um, you know, a death waiting to happen. What happened over here, by the way? Oh, all right, let's loot up. Look at all the loot bags that are out here. That's just how many of the zombies were dying to the blade traps. Like this, these are my kills over here and these are base kills over here. All right, I picked up all the loot that I could there and um, we're still in like the iron age of stuff. Iron fire axe, iron sledgehammer, iron pickaxe, mining helmet. So maybe in a couple of days, we'll start seeing things like uh, steel spears, but they'll be low quality for a little while. Let's get these magazines out of here. Three into sharp sticks there. 
and port everything else away. And there's a couple of leftover bags here that I opened, but didn't quite get everything out of. All right, and that is it. Let's just survey the damage. I think probably tonight, now that we have everything in place, the base has taken the least amount of damage that it's ever taken. Yeah, they didn't claw their way through the beltway, through the wall. They destroyed, I think it was, whoops, bag over there. Maybe two blocks, two or three. I think they destroyed one front plate. Uh, over there, one I've already replaced, and they also destroyed that cube right there. So we lost three blocks all night long. Another loot bag that I missed, some port bites. All right, man, that feels good to finally have everything come together the way that I had envisioned it all along. And there we go, it's morning. Let's just get that one replaced there. And um, oh, for some reason I have a treasure map on my toolbar here, Claude's treasure. Let's accept that and pray that it sends us to a new biome. No, just on the uh, edge there of the temperate area. And we swing through there all the time, so we'll scoop that up someday. And we have Taylor's treasure up there to the north. All right, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time at least going around and doing some repairs here. And um, let's see, tomorrow is Trader Day. So um, we'll probably just focus on questing for today. And then... Um, We'll do a trader run tomorrow and hope that we can get a solar cell. Probably most importantly, we need to, yep, those are the receiving end traps down there. So we got to get these patched up a little bit. And these ones up here, they don't take damage because they are the sending end. All right, my friends, I'm going to get cleaned up here and organized for tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.